Hey friends, Elena Mutanono here, and uh, we're back in our Raising Your Prices Challenge. And today I would like to talk about the thought or even the phrase that you may be saying often. I know I used to say it often a lot, and that's the phrase, I can't afford it. And I'm not here to shame you or to tell you you need to stop saying it forever and ever, because there are certain things, uh, certain times in our lives that we uh, cannot afford. And uh, this is a reality and I don't want to discard it. However, sometimes it becomes our default statement. And when it becomes a default statement, it's going to be very difficult to get over it, to achieve the things that we want to achieve. Because anytime we want to buy something or anytime we want to invest in our business, anytime we want to do something for ourselves that will help us develop we have this phrase that is ready and and we can't seem to shake it off and another thing too that's important is when we you go into your business with this um default statement of i can't afford this then you begin seeing it in your clients so you're trying to to bring a new product into the world or maybe you're trying out a program or a new package and when people say no to you which is quite normal and this is something that we all need to deal with is to to get no's and to deal with them to overcome them to learn from people saying no to us to get curious why people are saying no to us but when we are at this point where um, we feel like this is our default statement we begin feeling like everybody's saying no because they can't afford something. And that may lead to a lot of insecurity. Uh, we would try to uh, change our prices, maybe lower our prices, or maybe change what we create or uh, over deliver because we're insecure about people paying a certain amount. We feel like we need to give them more and then we overwhelm people and they don't want to sign up to our programs, not because they can't afford it, but because of how much we gave them and they can't keep up with this. So a lot of things come up when we take this thought of I can't afford something and we just run wild with it or it becomes our default statement. And I can tell you from my own experience, things began to shift when I started noticing this phrase and thinking, well, what can I do with it? Because at a, at a time I could not afford buying books. And it kind of got me really upset. You know, I was a teacher, I was working from morning till night, and I was only able to afford so much. But I felt like, I think I can, and I, I should be able to afford books. And that thought, I can't afford and looking at it, and using it as a catalyst to change brought about change in my life and later in my business. And it continues to prompt me to move forward. And that's something that I would like to encourage you to do as we're going to do our doodles. And also as we reflect on the things that we say to ourselves that um, actually keep us close to the opportunities and possibilities that are out there. So let's take a look at our thought patterns. On the left side of this page, I'm going to draw myself, my old self, the person who says I can't afford something and what it creates for me if it is my default setting. On this side, I want to create a new thought pattern and it will be just one thought pattern, but you can create your own, what works for you. And anytime from now on, when you are tempted to say, oh, I just can't afford this, or this is not for me, um, or if you find yourself saying to yourself that, oh, my clients, this person cannot afford my services, or, and then going down the slippery slope of nobody can afford it, I'm too expensive, I need to change this and that and the other, um, this will help you stay grounded. Uh, this will also help you to uh, take a look at the possibility, even when it feels like, oh, no, people are saying no to me. Um, before we um, start drawing, I wanted to show you the equation of emotion that I use in my coaching. And if you're curious about um, getting deeper into that and you want to learn more, I have live 
coaching calls that you can participate in. Um, you really get the most out of the coaching calls if you are um, going to be there in real time. So in the description, you'll find the link, sign up and then book your spot. And I hope to see you there. Um, I do it monthly at the end of each month for the people taking this challenge and people watching me here on YouTube. So any circumstance, for example, you know, lack of money or just money, right? And I thought I can't afford something or a product, right? That you really want and you say, I can't afford it. It causes certain emotions. And in in the case with different people, it can cause or bring up different emotions. For some people, it causes anxiety. Now, anxiety um, then drives certain actions. If you can't afford this, then you feel like, oh, I need to work more. You start working more uh, to afford something um, and and you are afraid. You might also feel afraid that you can't get what you want. You're not content with what you have. So you start overworking and overworking, overworking. And the result that you create is a burnout um, and you still can't achieve what you want to. Or you might feel maybe um, despair. And if you're desperate, you know, if you look at something, you know, and your business can't afford certain things that you really want, then you feel despair and hopeless. And if you are hopeless, then chances are you're not going to do anything to help yourself get out of the situation. As a result, you create the reality with the thought of I can't afford. So today we're going to look at that and create a different thought pattern. So it brings about a different emotion and pushes you to act differently so you can get different results. Okay, so let's take a look at the I can't afford. I can't afford. So what this brings up in me, for example, and what it used to bring up in me a lot is the emotion of shame. And when you're in shame, you hide. And when you hide, it's very difficult to put yourself out there and try to even run a business or do anything to make sure that you can afford at some point. So here's how I want to show this situation. It's like this fence that I build for myself. And this is me hiding here. Okay. So I'm going to color this really quickly so that we can kind of reflect on the reality of oh man, this is what it creates for us um maybe i just want even to put this color around it because when i'm ashamed you know i i feel like my stomach is burning and if you watched the previous video where I was drawing anxiety and fear that kind of manifest in similar ways for me anyway. So and you know it's it's interesting, but we all have these stories that what we can or cannot afford. And uh and um, sometimes these stories can really push us to try out something different. We can get, like I said, I got really frustrated with the reality that I really want to buy books, but I can't um, afford them, the books that I wanted or needed for my work or just even for fun. And that really pushed me to create a business where I could at any moment, which is true today, <laughs> any book that I want or my kids want, I will buy because I just, 
I decided that I'm going to, if nothing else, I'm going to be able to afford books. But of course, I've learned to to grow my capacity. And that's what we are going to focus on the next. So if you just have this, I can't afford, it's a uh, it's really pushing you away from being able to afford. Uh, well, in my case, that's how it felt. Like I was just kind of hiding behind this fence that I created. So and now let's look at the alternative. What can be an alternative? And the thought that I created for myself was different. Um, the thought that I created was... I'm growing my capacity to afford more. I'm growing my capacity to afford more. So anytime you feel like, oh, I can't afford and all the feeling of shame comes up, instead, I create a different picture. I create a picture where I don't have a fence and I can cultivate cultivate something that I didn't think would be possible. Here I am making sure that I can afford certain things, All right? I'm putting myself out there. I'm cultivating my capacity to afford more. I'm growing it. I'm growing my capacity to afford more. And so as you take maybe your time drawing this and reflecting on it, think about the things that you would like to afford that today you say, well, I can't afford. Okay. And when you um, have a different perspective on, you know, what you can or cannot afford, then you will start looking for possibilities. When you're behind the fence, it's very difficult to look for possibilities. What is possible out there that will allow me to afford? It's very difficult to do it when you are behind the fence. But when you step outside of the fence, you will see all this grass and you will see all these opportunities to grow beautiful flowers. I'm trying to decide what color my flower is going to be. Let's make it purple. So pretty. Okay. You will be able to look for more possibilities to grow, to cultivate, new things, to try out new products in your business so that you are able to afford what you can't afford at the moment. Okay. And just a very quick, very, very quick. Putting a little bit of color, my favorite one. And reflect on the possibilities. So today, when, when you have something that you can't afford, it's a beautiful thing. Consider that a call to action. Consider that um, a new way of being where you're no longer hiding behind the fence, but you're stepping outside and growing your capacity to afford more, looking for opportunities that will allow you to afford more. 
And I hope this lesson was helpful to you. I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And also, if you want to dig deeper into this coaching process where you inspect your thoughts and take a look at what you can do to raise your prices and offer your uh, packages and uh, your services in a different way, I invite you to my free coaching sessions at the end of each month. You will find the link in the description. Thank you so much and until next time.